Hey, what's up? It's MJ DeMarco, entrepreneur and author of The Millionaire Fast Lane. And in the next three minutes, I'm going to save you hundreds of hours of your precious time on your quest for financial freedom. So go to Amazon and pick out any book in the personal finance category. It doesn't matter who the hell wrote it. It could be the guy that does motivational seminars with the pearly white teeth. It could be the guy that tells you to stop drinking coffee. It could be the woman with the bad haircut and the orange spray tan. It doesn't matter what book you pick out because you want to know what? They all say the same damn thing. So here's what they all say in a nutshell. Number one, get a good job. You know, prostitute five days a week of your life for the paycheck of Saturday and Sunday. Number two, live frugal. Stop drinking those expensive lattes from Starbucks. Or maybe you can flush the toilet just once a week. That way you'll save $9 on the water bill. Oh yeah, and stop buying those burrito bowls from Chipotle. Downsize your living arrangements to, I don't know, a shed behind your parents' house so you don't have to pay rent. And make your life a literal suck fest of doing nothing, buying nothing, and enjoying nothing because you know what? One day you're going to be rich. Number three, compliments of your new financial torture and that shitty lifestyle it affords. Save every dollar you earn in this ritualistic savings cult and invest it in indexed funds where you will hope and pray for a positive return year after year. Number four, wait 30 years for compound interest to work its magic because golly gee, did you know if you invested $100 every single month that it will be worth over $150,000 in 30 years at just an 8% return. Never mind that in 30 years from now that $150,000 probably won't even buy you a Chevy Malibu and a loaf of bread is going to cost you 30 bucks. Or worse, in 30 years, you're going to be dead. Ah, but don't worry about it. If you're really good at this saving money and playing checkers for entertainment, maybe you can do this in 20 years. Meanwhile, your most precious resource on this planet, your vibrant and sacred youth, your ability to take part in life with unlimited fiscal restraint or unlimited physical restriction is simply wasted away. Now going back to our example, investing $100 a month for 30 years at an 8% return will yield a little more than $150,000. $150,000? I have made $150,000 in one month on countless occasions. But even if you can only accomplish that once, doing so effectively slices off 30 years on the time to create wealth. Yes, if you earn 150 k in one month, it is comparable to you saving $100 a month for 30 years. Except you're not going to need 30 years, and that 150 k is not going to be subject to inflation. Now, this is all possible in my life and other people that are in my social circle because we chose to leverage business systems for wealth and not frugality or stock market patience. When I think about this simple comparison, it pains me to learn that people actually suffer through this, save $100 a month to get rich, because they think it's the only way to generate wealth. Of course, not everyone wants to be a fast lane entrepreneur, so they think that this is their only option. But understand this, fast lane sense-based entrepreneurship is completely learnable. If you are teachable, and had the desire not to follow life's script, you can generate asymmetric returns and cut off 30 years on this financial journey. This scripted regime of financial enslavement doesn't need to be your reality. But if you do choose that path, know this. Your best case scenario is that you get to retire early and continue living in this financial prison of buying nothing and doing nothing. It's like busting your balls for decades so you can be crowned the king of mediocrity. Folks, this formula for wealth is anything but. And it's the same old stale formula you'll find in pretty much every single personal finance book 
that was ever written in the last 50 years and probably for the next 20 years. Congratulations, you'll never need to buy another personal finance book about mainstream middle class wealth because the mainstream's idea of wealth involves obedient slaves who buy nothing and invest everything. Sound familiar? Ah, yes, don't worry. You'll own nothing and you'll be happy. Don't let the latest bestseller in personal finance fool you into living poor so you can die rich. Folks, it is a horrific plan for wealth.